came back and um, I wanted to get rid of these pieces. So I went to my storage and I pulled out the old pieces of my art. And that's why you have some really cool. These are from 2018. And these are my finger paintings. These are part of a series. I did eight of them. Um, and these are the only two that are left. I sold six of these. Also part of my uh, uh, Dr. Seuss, Dr. West series. I did four of these paintings um, of the, from the Dr. Seuss era from it, and this is the last one of this series. And then these were also part of the series too. There were six of these. This is my Michelle with the pearl earrings. And these are the two that are left. No, that might have been seven. I think there were seven of, of these, and they were all different ones. And um, these are the two that are left. They're also from 2018. And these over here. And then these are my newer pieces. I I, I realized that. That's so. Wow. This is a new a new style that I'm working with. It's called the line work, where you have the streaks running through the body. And I was just really experimenting with that style, and I actually really like it. So I've been playing with. A lot more. I'm also doing that style in this piece right here. It's not finished, but I'm working on it. This one's called Pick Yourself Up, and it's kind of like about a person that's been knocked over, you know, going through some depression, and they have to pick themselves up. So it's a person that's lifting their own head up, and she's pulling, she's trying to get herself back up and out of the hole. That's so what. every picture has its own story. Everyone does. And this one is about Frida. Um, it's called Frida as Mona because it's Frida Kahlo, but she's in the Mona Lisa style. And Frida um, is someone that suffered a lot in her life. She had a lot of illnesses and she was bed, um, stuck in the bed. So she had to paint from the bed. She couldn't even walk a lot of her life. So the thorn around her neck, that represents that she's going through an uncomfortable situation but she's not dying from it. So it's a little bit of cuts on her neck, but she's still keeping her head high, held high, even though she's not happy. And she also lived in Mexico, so she really loved monkeys and flowers and always liked to paint and photograph herself with the monkeys. Okay, what's the story with this particular one? Oh, this one? Yeah. This is my Eve, and this is supposed to be Eve in the Garden of Eden. And here you have the ram, and you have the, the tourist bull. These are my zodiac signs. I was born on April 20th, so I'm an Aries tourist cusp. So, oh, I was born April 7th. <laughs> so this piece is kind of supposed to be like, um, it's kind of like my creation in the Garden of Eden. I try to put something very personal about myself in each of the, of the paintings. Okay. So that I'm reflected in it. So that's why I put these two okay. That's why I put these two signs. Went to a bar I knew. Charged my phone for a bit. That's the end of this little interview.